Hello guys, so I want to tell you guys, you know, is you know, don't be weary in doing good because I know for myself it gets tiring, you know, doing good after a while, you know, like we're we're proclaiming Jesus and we're um you know we're sharing love to each other, but we can't stop, you know, like we can't stop. We get when we stop, we get too comfortable. When we're tired, we get too comfortable, and then we start sinning again and going in the same old habits we that God freed us from and you know in, in Proverbs it says like a dog returns to his vomit and it's like you know Christians you know some Christians I'm not saying everybody but you know but some Christians they turn to their old vomit you know and they start doing what God freed them from and we got to be strong and keep on going you know in Isaiah 40 verse 30 through 31 it says even a use shall grow weary and faint and a young man shall utterly fall but those who wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall uh run and not grow weary they shall walk and not faint so there's gonna be a time when you know we feel like that like man it's just too much like the the temptation is too tough i can't do this anymore but remember i could do all things with christ who strengthens you that's what it says um and paul apostle paul reminded us that he knew that it's gonna get tough. He, even though with him, it would he it was getting tough and struggles. By him proclaiming the word, he was doing you know what God wanted him to do, and he he felt like he had a burden too. Like he he wanted to uh he wanted that thorn off his flesh. But God said, "My grace is sufficient. My power is made perfect in weakness." But I'm just saying we got to keep on going. You know we can't get comfortable. We can't fall asleep. We gotta always be awake for Jesus Christ 24/7. Because, you know, we're living in the last days and, you know, we got to be ready, you know. We got to be ready for that wedding feast, you know, to meet the Lord, you know. Because we're his bride. We got to be faithful and holy. And, you know, he's going to prepare a great place for us. But we can't give in to Satan's lies. We can't give in to, you know, we can't do the will of Satan, you know. All that stuff's going to lead to destruction. And it may feel good. It may feel good for just a moment, a temporary moment. But the consequences, the uh, after effect, you feel you feel really guilty about what you have done, you know. And we just gotta be strong in the Lord and continue to hold to pick up our cross and keep on marching because this is a race, you know. And we gotta make it to the finish line, you know. At, in the other side of the narrow road is a finish line, you know, and that's heaven. So we gotta be faithful and bold. And even though the enemy will attack us, because it's not gonna stop, temptation is not gonna stop. Because we're still in this, you know, we're still here. But heaven, it's not going to be no temptation. But even though the devil tries to tempt us and those all these fire darts towards us, you know, we got to hold on to the shield of faith. Because that's going to um, quench all those fiery darts and it's going to destroy Satan's attacks. We got to keep on relying on the word of God and keep on like seeking Jesus Christ and putting it in our hearts. But, you know, it's, it's, we just got to keep on going, you know, it's going to get tough, you know, like we got to keep on marching, you know, we got to like proclaim Jesus Christ, P tell people the truth, you know, there's life after death and peace, love, joy, and that's in Jesus Christ. There's no other. So we got to like keep on marching, keep on like doing what God called us to do, you know, don't lose hope. Did Jesus lose hope on us? No. Like he still, that's why he hasn't came back yet. Cause he wants all to come to repentance and not be doomed in hell. You know, God's still waiting for us. You know, this, uh, the, the, the harvest is so, it's a lot of harvest. You know, labors are few, but the harvest is plenty. So we need more labors to proclaim God's word, to get it out, to get it to different countries, different nations. You know, you could uh, proclaim Jesus Christ on YouTube, TikTok, even like uh, you could go on a website regardless we got to keep on proclaiming the good news because there's so many empty souls out there so many like the evil souls that are just like in darkness they can't see the light but unless no one tells them how they're going to see the light how they're going to hear the light you know faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so we got to be you know god's faithful disciples and proclaim go on we could go anywhere you know our neighbors at work you know like even like just you know malls shopping centers wherever you see a soul wherever you know when god's leading to that soul then tell them tell them about jesus because
believers have the Holy Spirit. We're not alone. Don't be afraid. You know, God is with us. Do the Deuteronomy 31 6. It's God is with us. He said, Do not be afraid or dismayed. He says, God is with us. Deuteronomy 31 6. We gotta be strong. We gotta be strong and just keep being, you know, do not fear. You know, God's with us, you know. He is with us. He 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 wants us to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, you know, do not be dismayed or afraid. Because he is with us. Jesus, the Savior, is with us. He goes with us wherever we go. He will not leave us nor forsake us. He will not fail us. We got to be strong and we got to proclaim the good news. You know, the word of God is good news. When you hear this news in the um, in the TV, in Channel 7, Channel 2, wherever you guys are from, it's always usually bad news. But there's good news, you know, that saves. And that's in Jesus Christ. So we should, we, we're the true Christians are good news for people who need to hear the good news. You know, all these news channels right now is just sending bad news. We got to reverse that and spread the gospel. You know, we should be the, the we're the true news, you know, give us, givers. You know, we give the people the truth. You know, we give the people the truth. We have a light that God has given us and we got to proclaim that light, share that light with the, this dark world because time is coming short and we got to be ready you know enough like feeling good feeling pleasures enough it's, it's enough with that you know we got to make a stand are you for him or against him you know for me i i made a stand i'm for jesus i got to keep going you know it's not gonna it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be even you're gonna get more persecutions but god is faithful he's not gonna leave us he's he's gonna what he started in our lives he's gonna finish it and he's going to complete it. So, you know, he knows it's going to be troubles, um, over part, like strong temptation. But all his words promises no temptation will overcome you. You know, no temptation will overcome you because he gives us the power to to get through the temptation. So if a temptation overcomes you, that means you're allowing you're not allowing God to help you. And you're allowing a temptation to take power over you. And God is faithful. He will not if you we rely on Jesus Christ. He'll get us through that temptation. No temptation has overtaken you except such as common to man. When God's faithful will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape so you will be able to bear it. So just remember that, guys. We got to keep on marching. And we need more laborers in this world. You know, we can't, we need more sheep, you know, more faithful sheep to reach the loss. You know, like this, there's a lot of sheep out there that's comfortable knowing that they accept Jesus and they're comfortable where they are, but you know, they're not really to find that lost sheep that's, you know, that's with them. You know, that law, there's a lost sheep that's wandering and we got to wake up. We got to like march on, you know, together just because we're the, we're the body of Christ, you know, in Jesus Christ, we got to do this together. We can't do this by ourselves, you know, we got to do this together and we got to focus on a true giver of life. You know, we can't allow Satan to try to take control of our minds with all this temptation garbage. We got to be strong, saints. We got to be strong. You know, we got to focus on Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through what? Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through. It's not Muhammad. It's not Bula. It's not Krishna. It's not, you know, these spirit guys. It's not psychic. What is it? No, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's only Jesus. There's only one way. That's not, there's only one way. There's no many ways. There's only one way. So, you know, I just wanted to share this video because this world is dark. You see, you may see sunlight out there, but it's dark spiritually. It is pitch black dark and we need to proclaim the gospel just like jesus commanded us matthew 28 19 go to all nations making disciples baptizing them in the name of the father son and the holy spirit let's go make disciples and and just tell them about jesus accept jesus with a pure heart and you'll be saved god bless